Hi, this is Mrs. Downey, and we're just coming back from Problem 5, Workbook Pages. Um, we did Practice K. This is on 6-4, uh, Rational Exponents. We did Problem 17 for about two minutes. Now we're moving right along to our last problem of the day. This is Problem 6, uh, Writing Expressions in Simplest Forms. Now. Uh, notice our note at the top. It says to write an expression with rational exponents in simplest form, write every exponent as a positive number. So no negative exponents. Remember that rule, which we've hit in Algebra 1, and now in Algebra 2 we've hit on it again. Okay, so it says what is each expression in simplest form? We have two problems here which I'm going to work with. The first one and uh, notice that we've got a plan here. And it says, what is the first step in simplifying a radical expression using the properties of exponents? Rewrite the radicals using rational exponents. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, look at what's given to us. Negative 8x times uh, radical xy all to the two-thirds power. Okay, so our first step is just to rewrite that. And now let's start working on it. What they've done here is they've taken the two-thirds and they're going to distribute it basically to every term, the negative 8, the x, and the radical xy. So let's take a peek at that. And there it is, distributed to all three terms. So. There's the negative 8 to the 2 thirds, the x to the 2 thirds, and the radical xy. But notice what they did to the radical xy, they turned the radical xy to xy to the 1 half power, then to the 2 thirds. So that was just a little conversion there. Okay. So our next step is to keep cleaning it up. And notice that they've now turned, let me extend my page here, sorry, all right, so they've extended negative 8 to negative 2 to the third power. And they're trying to get everything to a power to a power, we're trying to just keep crunching down till we get these as compact as possible. So we've got negative 2 cubed all to the 2 thirds power, and then that's the same. And then they multiplied our two powers. Remember a power to a power? Multiply. So 1 half times 2 thirds becomes 2 over 6, which is just 1 third. So this all right here is this now simplified. Okay, so these go together, this is that, and this is that. Okay, our next step now is to simplify again. So, clear. All right, so from this step, they've got a power to a power again. So, 3 times 2 thirds becomes 6 thirds, which simplifies to 2. So, we have negative 2 to the 2 power. So, these are the same simplified. This is just a straight copy down. And now they're distributing this one-third across to the x and the y. There and there. Okay, and then our next step is to combine all those x's. So this is our last step. What have they done here? Let me get my pen. Alright, so negative 2 squared is your 4. And then you have x to the 2 thirds. And remember, when their powers are the same base, you just add the powers, keep the base. So 2 thirds plus 1 third plus y to the 1 third. Oops, that's a times y to the 1 third. So this x to the 2 thirds plus 1 third, so that becomes x to the 3 thirds, which is just x. So there's that. So we have 4 x and then our y to the one-third. Now we're going to convert the y to the one-third to 
the cubed root of y. So our final answer becomes 4x times the cubed root of y. Nice little number cruncher. I think it was harder to talk through that than it is to do. These actually go pretty fast when you work them. And here's our second problem. Okay, so uh, we've got 16y to the negative 8 all to the negative 3 fourths. So there's a power to a power again, but notice that the negative 8, here's the tricky part, it only goes with the y, it didn't go with the 16. So you can't just do a power to a power there. You've got to distribute that negative 3 fourths to both 16 and the y to the 8th, negative 8th. So notice they've done that. There's the 16, and there's y to the negative 8, the negative 3 fourths. Now fix those. What is 16? Well, we know 16 is 2 to the 4th power all to the negative 3 fourths power, it's the same. And notice that they did the math on our exponents there. Negative 8 times negative 3 fourth becomes ne uh, positive 24 over 4, which is y to the 6th power. Okay, so these are 1, those are 1. Okay, our next step is keep cleaning it up. So 2 to the 4th to the negative 3 fourths, there's a power to a power again. So what do you do? Multiply. So that becomes negative 12 over 4, which is just negative 3. So that becomes 2 to the negative 3. Y to the 6 stays the same. And clean it up one last time. 2 to the negative 3rd becomes 1 over 2 cubed, which is 8. There that is. So here, let me clear. Come on, 8. This is that. And then Y to the 6 on top. And that's, I believe, everything. Yes, there's our got it's if you need extra practice. And now I want everybody to do the last problem for us in the workbook. This should take no longer than five minutes, number 20. And uh, when you finish that, turn them in. I'll take them up at the end of the hour, which we should be pretty close now. So that concludes our lesson. Thank you for watching and work hard and have a great mathy day, you nerds. Lovely nerds.